What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox One controller to your Android phone so that you can play Call of Duty Mobile or any other games that use um, the Xbox One controller or PS4 controller. So the great thing that happened with Call of Duty Mobile is about a week ago they enabled controller support and zombies. So now you can use your Xbox controller or PS4 controller to play Call of Duty Mobile in multiplayer or zombies, and it's great. Um, everyone else is using their their fingers or um, you know basically just their touch screens, and you're able to use a full-on controller and adjust the sensitivity and everything just like if you're on an Xbox or PS4. So I wanted to show you guys how to do that today. Um, I am recording on my phone. Let me double check. Yep, I'm recording on my phone, so I'll have this uh, shown on the screen as I do it. But what you basically want to do is go into um, your settings. You see that YouTube copyright complaint? Oh, who's, oh, okay. Um, yeah, someone ripped off my entire video and just like said it was theirs, but in Russian, which was weird. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and, why am I showing you my screen? <laughs> let's go ahead and go into our settings. All right, so let's find uh, settings. And you're gonna wanna go into your Bluetooth settings. So we'll go to connections. We're going to go to Bluetooth, and you'll see that um, we have various devices that we can connect to. So what we want to do is go on to our Xbox One controller, and this is my handy-dandy Mike the Tech engraved controller. I love this guy. Um, and you want to turn it on, and it might connect to your computer or Xbox One, whatever it is that happens to usually be connected to it. Um, but you're going to want to look for this button right up here on top and just hold that button down one, two, well, two seconds and it will start blinking. And if you look on your phone, you'll see that a new device popped up um, underneath it. And if we scan again, let's just make sure. It's most likely this available device here that starts with CO. Oh, there it is. So Xbox wireless controller. We're going to click on that. And we are connected. If we go into the settings, you can see it's set up as an input device. So let's try it out. Let's go ahead and go into Call of Duty. And I believe I have a... One second. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So, oh, hey, Kitsune. Hey, love, I love you. <laughs> so I brought this little device here. I love this guy too. Uh, basically, this allows you to connect your Xbox controller, just like this. So now it has um, a phone mount. So I can just grab my phone, and right now I have my mic connected to it, so excuse the wire. But normally this would be completely wireless, and you can play your games on your phone. So we can see that... Um, we are now in the game. I'm loading it. Oh, I don't have to show you that. I, I have the screen recording on. Uh, okay. So, once the game gets loaded, we're going to make sure that um, our controller works. Let's see. Let's go to multiplayer. Let's go to settings. And we're going to go to controller. See, now we have controller settings, and you can choose what kind of settings and sensitivity you would like. And if you go to the settings tab, you can see whether the controller is connected or not, and whether it's enabled or not. So if you're just starting out in Call of Duty, this might be disabled by default if it didn't detect your controller right away. So you might need to enable that. Now there's your general options like flipping the X and Y axis, um, but the main part is MP sensitivity, that's multiplayer sensitivity. I have mine just on the default mid right now, but you can not only choose low, mid, and medium, or high mids, <laughs> um, or you can actually manually adjust the sensitivity here as well. So you can choose horizontal and vertical sensitivity, which is really, really useful when trying to adjust it kind of to match your uh, maybe PC or Xbox or PS4 gameplay. You can get the same kind of settings in there. Um, and if we go into a match, um, I'm not gonna play a full match here. Um, but I just want to show you that the controller is actually working. And once the match gets started, I'll go ahead and um, cut it there so you don't have to watch me um, basically play the whole time. So yeah, I'm using my controller. Um, 
and I just got killed because I'm trying to look at and record at the same time. So I'm going to stop it there so I can actually win some matches, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon, alright? Peace.